Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and here's a question. If the genotypes homozygous dominant, heterozygous and homozygous recessive have a frequencies of 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 respectively, what are the frequencies of the P or dominant allele A and Q or recessive allele A? After a single generation of random mating, what will be the expected frequency of the three possible genotypes? When I am looking at these numbers, I know that this population is not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. But you probably need to search for such a picture on the internet like this. And here three lines represent a frequency of three genotypes. Blue of the homozygous recessive, green of the heterozygous and red of the homozygous dominant. And for example, let's now compare these numbers. When homozygous dominant genotype is 0 0.5 and it's going to be somewhere here, then we expect the frequency of the heterozygous genotype to be about 40%, but we see that it is 0 0.25 or 25% and according to our problem, another 25% is homozygous recessive. So again, when frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype is 50%, we expect that frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype to be somewhere, say, 10%. But according to our problem, it is 25%. So we know that this population is not in hardy weinberg equilibrium. What does it mean that some population is not in equilibrium? That means that this population, just like maybe 99% of the populations, is under pressure of selection. So some genotypes are preferential over the other. They have better fitness. Or we can find in such population assortative mating or migration. Another variant can be that this is just very small population. And this explains this random numbers, that these numbers are due to just random chance of the some selection, or maybe this population went through the bottleneck, meaning that there have been a recent event such as some kind of uh, natural disaster. It can be also a disease. Our first step in order to solve this problem would be to find the frequency of the dominant allele and recessive allele, let's take these numbers. So we have three genotypes. One is homozygous dominant, another one heterozygous, and the last one homozygous recessive. And the frequency is as follows, dominant 0 0.5, this is a frequency of this genotype, and heterozygous 0 0.25, and the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is also 0 0.25. If we combine all these numbers, we are going to get 1. 1 equals 100%. In statistics, we usually do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. As you see, these three genotypes are made by only two alleles, dominant allele A and recessive allele A. And it is very easy to find frequency of the dominant and recessive allele. We just have to add half of this number here and half of this number is going to be uh, 0 0.125. And another half we have to add here. And this is going to be also 0 0.125. So we add one half and one half. Why? Because as you see, this genotype is made on one half for, uh, with dominant allele and one half is recessive allele. So the frequency of the dominant allele A is going to be 0 0.625 and frequency of the recessive allele A is going to be 0 0.375. We also can say that frequency of the dominant allele A is going to be 62.5% and frequency of the recessive allele A is going to be 37.5%. We just have to multiply these numbers by 100 if we need an answer in percentage form. 
So we have found the frequency of the dominant allele A and recessive allele A. And if we add all the dominant alleles and recessive alleles, we should get one. And in Hardy-Weinberg formula for dominant allele A stand P and for recessive allele A stand Q. So in statistics, we just uh, replace dominant allele and recessive allele with these letters. Why we have to replace? It's just such statistical standard. So we are going to use these letters now. And according to Hardy-Weinberg formula, here's a formula, frequency of the three genotypes would equal to P squared plus 2 PQ plus Q squared and all this equal 1. In Hardy-Weinberg formula for P squared stand homozygous dominant genotype, for heterozygous genotype stand 2 PQ and Q squared stand for the homozygous recessive genotype. Take a look. For example, this genotype we also can express as A squared. A times A is going to be A squared. And small a times small a also going to be Q squared in our case or A small squared. But where this two came from, why not uh, just multiply dominant allele and recessive allele? Because this genotype can be made actually by two genotype. Here's the one variant and here's the second variant. You can get recessive allele from the mother side and dominant allele from the father side. And you can get uh, dominant allele from the mother side and recessive allele from the father side. So heterozygous genotype actually made by two genotypes. Hence this two here. Now when we know that frequency of the dominant allele P is 0 0.625, and frequency of the Q allele is 0 0.375, we can easily predict frequencies in the F1 generation if we are going to have in this population random mating. So this is going to be our parental generation and this is going to be our F1 generation after uh, free mating. For example, frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is going to be this number squared. So it's going to be 0 0.375 squared. And this is going to be 0 0.14. And this is rounded number. Now let's find frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype expected frequency and this is going to be 0 0.625 squared. So frequency of the dominant allele A squared. And the frequency is going to be 0 0.39. I don't have much space here left to do calculations. 2 times frequency of the dominant allele and recessive allele. So what I'm going to do, you see, we can at frequency of three genotypes and we should get one. That means that if we subtract from one frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype and homozygous dominant genotype, we are going to get frequency of the third component. In our case, uh, heterozygous genotype, frequency of the heterozygous genotype. So let's do it. 0 0.14 frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype plus 0 0.39 is going to give us 3, 5, 0. And now we know that 1 minus 0 0.53, the frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 0 0.47. So 0 0.47. And when we add all these three numbers, we are going to get 1 just like in our formula. So when we add the three numbers, we're getting one or 100%. The three genotypes frequencies would represent 100% of the genotypes in this population, which is F1. If on your exam you would be asked to give an answer in percent form, 
you just have to multiply each number by 100 and you're going to get an answer in percent form. In this case, you're going to get 39% here, 47% here and 14% here. Again, all these numbers are rounded. So these three numbers that we got are expected frequency of the three possible genotypes after single generation of random mating. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.